it's been a sensational season for Celtic. Their final league match of the campaign would be at home against Hearts. The Ladbrokes Premiership trophy to be presented at the end. Watching for us was Liam McLeod. Well, the Celtic side is close to full strength. Armstrong and Sinclair are back in from the start. And Griffiths has chosen, despite his now well-documented altercation with the manager at Firhill on Thursday. Hearts without a win in five. Boabin is back for them, but most notably there's a debut for 19-year-old Jamie Brandon, who's a former Rangers youth player. Can they finish on the highest of highs? Well, Griffiths well capable of scoring from here. Not far away at all. And the score sheet again against Patrick Thistle during the week. Hearts without a win over Celtic since the Scottish Cup semi in 2012. Having won here since 2009, as Tierney lets fly. Well, a fabulous season for Tierney, who scored his first Celtic goal on the final day of last season. Liam Smith's run. And it is Simunovic on the team today. Kaui. That's a foul by the Croatian on Bjorn Jonsson. And it's presented Hearts with a more than decent chance. Free kick opportunity on the edge of the Celtic box. Might be their best chance to get something out of this. Joyce with the effort. Rising at the wrong time for the Greece international. Celtic still with so many records to chase this afternoon. Scott Sinclair. McGregor's effort blocked, but it is a corner. They want to achieve their highest points tally. They want the most goals in a season. They want the biggest gap between first and second as well. All attainable. It's Griffiths' delivery. It was Boyata's effort, which has been saved by Noring. It's the closest the champions have come to breaking the deadlock. Gamboa finds Roberts. And struck form at the right time. As you can see, Noring got a glove onto that. Big moment. Hearts trying to keep Celtic at bay here. Celtic clean penalty there, but this is majestic play once again from Patrick Roberts. Every inch a 12 million pound player on current form. Boyata to Brown. Rogic. And Roberts. Lovely play. Griffiths! Well and truly gets the party started for Celtic. Fabulous delivery here by Patrick Roberts. And Celtic through Lee Griffiths moved that bit closer to an invincible league season. Roberts. Lovely ball. Chance here for Griffiths again. He was onside. He feels as though he should have got his and Celtic second. Really good run there. Timed it to perfection. Tierney. Sinclair. Tierney was upended. Play on. Scott Sinclair. He's the Football Writers Association Player of the Year as well as the PFA one. Brown. That's Armstrong. Claims he was held. Rogic. Brown. Can't find that second. And since the goal, Celtic have relaxed as Jonsson wins a free kick for Hearts. Scott Brown, the beating heart of the Celtic side. He is the sponsor's player of the season. Is Brown. It's Steve Armstrong. He's going to have a goal without attack. Just pass. Celtic supporters once again dot their cap to the Lisbon Lions. John Clark and Jim Craig in attendance today. Look at this. And he burns away from Jolies. Through it comes for Sinclair. He misses it. But Armstrong does it. 
What a season he has had! When the festivities begin, they will be unbeaten in the Premiership. What an achievement! And Stuart Armstrong ensures of another three points for the six in a row champions. Well, that Stuart Armstrong goal to call Celtic's best ever goal return in the league. Here's Mallory Martin, no, blocked by Toure. We gave it away in the first place. On as a sub for Simunovic, he took a knock. And the concern for the cup final. In from Martin. And Johnson! Well, he almost pulled one back for the visitors. Walker will win another corner. Certainly Hart's best period of pressure in the game. Chance to cross here. It's going to drop to Mata. Craig Gordon called into action. Great play by Jamie Brandon. He's had a really fine debut. Celtic just about there. John Beaton has checked his watch and he ends the season. And Celtic are invincible. They are indomitable. They are invulnerable. Unbeatable Celtic under Brendan Rodgers and what a job he has done from top to bottom of this club well by this time next week they could be a treble winning Celtic but for now they'll bask in the glory of a sixth successive title with the silverware which they will touch very very soon and this is what it's all about for them they've been untouchable in the premiership it will be at the very least a double as Chris Commons signs off, having not played a minute for them this season, but what an impact he has had. As is his manager, who gets a special hug from Chief Exec Peter Lowell. Most goals they've scored in a season, most points they have attained in a season. The biggest title margin of victory. Celtic and the champions of Scotland once again, and for 2016-17. What a campaign! for this team to have gone through a whole season uh, to have won 34 games and, and drawn four it's absolutely remarkable achievement so uh, delighted it may never happen in a lifetime again for, for many many people uh, so uh, but the, the players the work that they put in to, to achieve that it's, it's absolutely phenomenal and uh, they deserve all the plaudits and the credit they get yeah there's pressure at this club whenever, whenever you sign um, and there's pressure every week to win games it's about how about we, it's how about we play um, we want to get the ball down, pass, and, and kill an attack very quickly. Um, and I think the, the treble was talked about. I think after how we, we beat Aberdeen, um, can we go the whole season unbeaten and, and go and clinch the treble? You know, we've, we're only one step away now, and hopefully we can do it. We'll recover for a day or two, which we need to. The players have deserved to celebrate success. It's very important. But then we have to refocus. We've got one more game left. We want to finish that uh, well. We want to, to win the cup. That was one of our goals. Um, and maybe later on, uh, when we have a, r a rest and, and a holiday, we can look on it. But, uh, but you tend to never think so much whilst you're in the moment, because you're having to always think of uh, tomorrow. And that's something that uh, I always tend to do. Huge congratulations to the Celtic Invincibles. I think it's fair to say they enjoyed that. Stephen, just how big an achievement is this? It's a phenomenal achievement. It's been total domination. Uh, from Celtic and Brendan Rodgers and what a first season for Brendan Rodgers it's been virtually perfect it could be perfect come next Saturday night and some people for me have tried to devalue um, the achievement by saying well, Rangers have been so poor this year but to go a whole season unbeaten without dropping your standards they've played games without a recognised striker they've, but to, 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 to go the whole season without a refereeing decision going against you injuries or something and win and be unbeaten is a phenomenal achievement. And he's right. I, I don't think you'll see it again. Well, the thing is, they have had moments where they've gone against them, but it showed the resilience of the team that they've, they've not allowed it to, to end up with a defeat. You know, they've had moments in the season where they've had their backs against the wall and they've come up with the answers and um, an unbelievable achievement. Could they do it again next year? I wouldn't put it past this. I don't think it's a once in a lifetime achievement, <laughs> according to Brendan Rodgers. I, I certainly think if they, if they win next Saturday and win the treble, I wouldn't put a, a, it past them getting a, a double treble uh, next year, but I don't think they could go unbeaten. They are so far ahead of everybody else, though, Stephen, aren't they? Miles. Yeah. Miles ahead. So it's not out with the realms of possibility, another unbeaten season. Well, as I said, I think 
uh, something would go wrong along the way. I mean, it's, that's what makes it so remarkable to go the whole season unbeaten. Patrick Roberts has been sensational in recent weeks. Yeah. Um, flashes of genius again oh. from him. Uh, he's just full of confidence just now, isn't he? I mean, this is, this is superb. And he's got such trickery and pace. And, you know, for a fullback, whoops, nutmeg, for a fullback playing against him. What was that noise? <laughs> they must be hating <laughs> playing against Patrick Roberts just now. We saw him, you know, destroy Miles Beerman and, and uh, uh, today he was absolutely pivotal to everything that uh, was positive from a Celtic perspective. Another great ball in for Griffiths. Uh, this is the goal, again, very poor from uh, a Hearts point defensively, much like the Rangers goal they conceded last week. Great ball in, great header. What a goal this is. And, you know, he's seemingly on his way back to Manchester City, Michael, but should Celtic try and sign him? Well, I mean, this is a wonderful strike. It shows you all the, the talent they've got, different styles of, uh, of goals. In terms of Manchester City, I don't see him going back down to Manchester City and playing. Yep, so, right. it's, you know, it's a tough one for, for Patrick <coughs> Roberts. Should Celtic try and sign him? I'm pretty sure Celtic are, are exploring ways and means of, of trying to get what, him. They couldn't pay what Man City no, paid there's 12 no, million. No, and I don't think that he's worth 12 million. But What's he worth then? Half of that, I think Celtic would contemplate doing a deal. Right. Um, whether they'd be able to do it, though, I don't know. You know, so if Celtic were able to get value for, for uh, Patrick Roberts, I'm pretty sure they would look to try and keep him. You know what it's like to, to win a treble, Stephen. You've mentioned that a couple of times. Lifting that big trophy as well, <laughs> the league trophy. I know, I know. He Every never mentions Sunday. it, does he? Jealous. Oh. Terrible thing. <laughs> How big are the celebrations tonight? Obviously, huge match for Celtic next weekend as they try and clinch the treble. Well, I think Brendan alluded to that. I think uh, there's a very important game for them to play on Saturday. It's not like they've won the league today. They've known they've won the league for months. So they could have celebrated a while ago. They can celebrate all they want on Saturday if, if they beat Aberdeen. Yeah, um... In terms of hearts, Michael, let's have a quick word about them before we finish up. I mean, end of season report card as far as you're concerned? Brutal. I think that, um, you know, it's not particularly great. You know, since, uh, since uh, Ian Cathro's come in, they have taken less points than any other team in the Premiership. That is startling for, for Hearts, and uh, there's going to have to be a, a huge upturn in fortunes next season if uh, they're going to have any success. Any positives to take? Um, no, not really. OK, we'll leave it there.